Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we'll talk about the preparation of alkynes. We can prepare from calcium carbide, from vicinal dihalides, from dehalogenation of tetrahalides, from carbon and hydrogen, from electrolysis of potassium salts of fumaric acid and from acetylene. There are six ways of preparing and more will study about these six ways of preparation of alkynes. The first is from calcium carbide. So calcium carbide, what we do is, we take this calcium carbide, you heat this with water, you get CaOH2 and C2H2. This is my methine, also called acetylene. Correct? This is the common way. And to prepare CaCO2, what you can do is you can take CaOA quick line, you can just cope, you heat this, you get CaC2 plus carbon dioxide. And this you can use to prepare with that. Correct. The next is vicinal dihalide. So the reaction is this you have a dihalide, uh, example this. So when you react with KOH, you get CH to the bond CH and water molecule. So here a very strong base, very strong base. You can also use NaNH2 is used and this is elimination reaction right so it's E2 reaction, it's E2 reaction. Correct. So how it works is I have OH minus so I'll show the reaction mechanism. So let's suppose I have Br here, I have H here, I have H here, I have H here, I have Br here. Correct. So OH minus will attack this guy. This guy will break this bond and it will form bond here. So this carbon will have five bonds. So this bromine is a leaving group, it will leave. So you will get something like this. One bond gone and you have a Br here, and H here, H here. Now again a new OH minus will attack this hydrogen, this bond will form here and this carbon will have 5 bonds, so this bond will break it. So with this you get this one, right? So you, in, in this you get Br minus out there. Here also you will get one more you get Br minus I. This is the total reaction, correct? It will be pretty easy actually. So if you see OH minus attacks, this is a strong base, it attacks, you take this hydrogen, this bond is formed here. So this carbon will have 5 bond, this bromine comes out, it's easily leaving group, you get double bond. Same reaction happens now, again this hydrogen is gone, this bond is getting, this gets formed, this carbon will get 5 bonds, so the bromine leaves the compound. So the, the next is dehalogenation of tetrahalide. So this kind of reaction also we have seen, for example, we have H here. Tetrahalide, four bromines. Correct, tetrahalide. So we'll use zinc here or manganese here. And you'll heat it, so you'll get CH to the bond, CH and ZN, BR twice actually. So what will happen is, in this case, zinc will react with bromine to form ZN, BR2. You need a zinc surface for this. I'll show you how it forms. Example, I have CC and I have some bromine here, bromine here, bromine here, and I have bromine here also. I have H here, I have H here. You, do, you take some zinc surface, right? So zinc surface will form bond with this and it will consume this. So with this you will get something like this. Br, Br and H. Okay. Now again you use some zinc surface here. Zinc surface will form bond something like this here, so it will form this. Correct? So this ZN BR2, ZN BR2 will be out. You can repeat, keep on repeating this. So with this, you will get propyne. The next is from carbon and hydrogen. So it is what you do you take carbon, you take hydrogen, you use electric furnace or electric heat or something at very high temperature, 3 to 7 0 very high temperature, you will get 
And this is called Berthelot synthesis. Right? So this electric arc is must. This electric arc is must in this case. The next is electrolysis of potassium salt. So I have let's suppose CH COOK I have here it will be double bond CH COK right so in this case you add some water and you do electrolysis so you get CH triple bond CH then you will get a KOH you will get hydrogen and all these things. So this guy is my potassium fumarate. Potassium fumarate. This is used if you want to prepare higher alkynes from acetylene. So if you take acetylene for example. So what we do is we first react with NaNH2 sodium amide. This will ionize this in the presence of diethyl ether correct so what this will do this will ionize this ethyne and plus NH3 will come correct this is ionized now correct so now this I'll react with C2H5Br let's suppose ethyl bromide so what will happen is the, this Br and Na will come out right and it will form this guy C C2H5. Correct. This is if you see viewed one ion and this NABR will come back. It's pretty easy reaction. So we use we react with sodium amide. This will ionize this and get Na plus and this thing whole minus. So now it uh, will react with C2H5Br. So this Na and Br will react and we will form this kind of reaction. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.